Well, as Canadians prepare to commemorate Remembrance Day, a former Veterans Affairs Minister is trying to get the Trudeau government to recognize a member of Parliament who died after leading Canadian troops in the First World War. Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Sharp led a battalion during the First World War. He was awarded a Medal of Bravery during the bloody Battle of Passchendaele 100 years ago. He was also re-elected as an MP in absentia while in Europe. On returning to home to Canada, Samuel Sharp committed suicide. Two years ago, as Veterans Affairs Minister, Aaron O'Toole had a commemorative plaque made in honour of Colonel Sharp, but that plaque has been gathering dust in a storeroom somewhere in Ottawa. CPAC's Martin Stringer spoke with Aaron O'Toole about Sharp's story and the effort to have him remembered. Aaron O'Toole, tell us a story, tell us a bit more about uh, Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Sharp. Why did he come to your attention? Why does his story, why is it compelling for you? Well, when I was first elected in 2012, uh, I represented part of the riding that Sam Sharp represented a century before. I knew of Sam Sharp because he raised the 116th Battalion from our area, and that battalion is now represented by the Ontario Regiment, a regiment uh, that's still around, a very proud history that goes back before Canada. Um, but I didn't know how he died. I figured he, he died in battle, like, like Harold Baker behind us. Uh, tragically, I learned later how the, the mental toll of the Great War, the loss of men he recruited, his constituents he recruited to fight with him at Vimy, at, at Avion, at Passchendaele. Passchendaele was the final, uh, final straw. It's when his cup overflowed and he was hospitalized shortly thereafter and, and then tragically took his own life a few months later. He was re-elected in absentia shortly after Passchendaele as well. So the stories about Sharp are really remarkable and we don't know of him because of his tragic end. He, was, he came back and he was diagnosed with what in those days they called either shell shock or it was called nervous shock in his records. Uh, he committed suicide what, in, uh, in the hospital? Yeah, he was hospitalized first in, in England, sent home, and the story locally is that he was in the Royal Victoria Hospital in Montreal, suffering from shell shock. We now know that's post-traumatic stress disorder or operational stress injury. And he, the, the story goes that he was just heartbroken about the families he'd be seeing back in the Durham region in Uxbridge, where he was from, because he recruited a lot of these young men. And their deaths uh, weighed very heavily on him. He was in his mid-40s. He was an MP solicitor, a citizen soldier, a militia soldier. But the, the horrors of the Great War, and of Passchendaele in particular, uh, gripped him. And they said... He couldn't bear going back to, to his hometown, and he leapt from a window. It's a very tragic end for an inspiring figure. We're standing in front of a statue right behind you, which is a statue to Harold George Baker, who was the only MP to have died in combat in the First World War. But as you, let's, give, let's fast forward. You had, or you were, act, you were involved in getting a plaque, a commemorative plaque, to Lieutenant Colonel Sharp made. Where is that plaque now? Well, that's a good question. It's in storage. The project was uh, an all-party initiative in the last parliament, um, and it was going to be a plaque to go on the pillar right beside Baker. Because interestingly, Martin, there were two MPs from the Great War in the Book of Remembrance, in the Peace Tower here, not far from here. Two names, Baker and Sharp. Because even a century ago, the military in the country saw that Sharp's death was a result of his military service. So two in the Book of Remembrance, but only one acknowledged anywhere else in the building. So we said, let's rectify that. Let's rectify that before a century passes and before Sam Sharp is forgotten. And so the plaque was made to go here next to Baker. Um, and unfortunately, it's been stalled with uh, the Liberal government. We've been trying to work with them to keep it all party. But this building will be closed in a year. And we need to make sure that Sam Sharp, a century after he died, is properly commemorated in Parliament. Um, I've heard, and we're waiting for answers from the office of the uh, Minister of Veterans Affairs, but we've heard that there's been a consultative committee struck, that there was some concerns about what's the appropriate place to put this plaque, supposedly some concerns about the issue of suicide. And What, are, what do you make of it? Why do you think it's been stalled? Well, we took these things very seriously. We consulted the Mental Health Commission and CAMH on how to discuss the death by suicide of Sam Sharp. Hiding it and not discussing it is not sending the right signal for those suffering from mental injuries from service now, first responders, military. We find Sharp can be used to show people that, hey, today there are treatment options available for people that didn't exist in Sam Sharp's time. Don't feel stigmatized by a mental injury. We now know that mental injuries can be just as difficult to, to treat as physical ones. So 
we need to get this plaque up. It needs to be in the House of Commons. He was being honoured as a parliamentarian, not in a park, not somewhere else. Otherwise, that re-stigmatizes a physical injury and a mental injury. So I know Minister O'Regan will do the right thing. I served in the military with his brother. We were on the same ship. I know he cares, so he needs to take the politics out of this. The Liberals supported this project in opposition. It was all party, uh, Mr. Valeriot, Mr. Stouffer, we were all behind it. Speaker Scheer at the time, now the leader of my party. Let's do this because by spring of next year, it's 100 years since the sad end of Sam Sharp's life. So Passchendaele, because he fought at Passchendaele, because he was facing re-election while fighting at Passchendaele, what an amazing figure from our history. Let's make sure we properly mark him. Are you optimistic that it'll get done? I'm always an optimist by nature. Um, I think the attention of Passchendaele and the fact that a sitting MP was fighting at Passchendaele, we lost 4,000 people, 12,000 uh, injured in a battle that ended 100 years ago, Friday of this week. Let's commit to honour one of them, one of our own, a parliamentarian who was first elected in 1908. Let's honour him before we hit the century mark of his death. Okay, Aaron O'Toole, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you, Mark.